sometimes I wonder If I love you too much Subject in school. We want a subject in school. We want a subject. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. These three brethren was one brethren. Split them apart Before the system Split them apart We want a subject in school We want a subject in school We want a subject in school And mark us But remember Welcome to the Judas Soul Show. We're so happy to have you with us today. And today we have a great show lined up for you. Of course, I have my little co-host with me, Elizabeth Barrett. I'm little, all right. Hello. Hi. Welcome, baby. How are Thank you doing? Thank you. I'm doing good. How good. about yourself? Just lovely. Good. In England, they say lovely. 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 Right. Yeah, so how's everything? Everything is going fine. Everything. You know, they had a... Um, Plane crash, American Airline, Little uh, Rock, I heard, Arkansas. Yeah, I woke up there in the morning to the news. That's yeah, sad. That was really sad. And of course, the pilot. Yeah, pilot, the captain yeah. died. So, as you were saying, but your sympathy. Your sympathy goes out to the family. Definitely, definitely. Definitely, yeah. And yeah. uh, you know who passed away mm. in Jamaica? A uh, good friend of mine, top recording artist, and of course, a Jamaica icon, um, Augustus Pablo. Oh, really? He was good at the flute, blowing the flute. Oh, yeah? Good singer. He's a good instrumental musician. Mm. And he, I, I just get to understand today that he passed away. I'm sorry to so hear again, that. our sympathy goes out to um, the Pablo, Augustus Pablo family mm -hmm. in Jamaica. Okay. And what's new? 
Not much, really. We have a great show lineup we today. Have we have lineup. the Miss Caribbean, California Caribbean Beauty Pageant coming up. Oh, yeah. That's coming up on June 19th. Mm -hmm. And I expect to see each and every one of you there because mm -hmm. we will be there covering the show. Right. And so we have one of the contestants here today with us. Right. Yeah. And also we have Dr. Montgomery. Remember we yeah. had him on a couple we had weeks him on, ago? Yes, we and had him on. The response was so great. Right. So you, you said to me, Junior, I think we should bring Dr. Which, this is my I, should, I think we should bring Dr. on. So we decided to bring him back on. Yes, he's back with us today, Dr. Yeah. Montgomery. He's clairvoyant, Jamaican clairvoyant and psychic and spiritual healer. And we're going to be introducing him later on in the show. Right. But for right now, we're going to talk to London De Leon. I love that name. She's oh, yeah. beautiful just as her name. She's one of the contestants for the oh, pageant. Yeah. Okay, welcome. Hi. 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 Welcome to the Juno Show. Thank you for having Hi. me here. Yeah, lovely, Hello. Lovely. I love your name. That sounds, Thank is you. it Italian? Yes, it's Italian, meaning the lion. Oh, yes. are you as strong as the lion? Yes, strong. I am. <laughs> oh, good. Now, you're a contestant for the pageant. How did exactly. you, what made you decide to be a, be a contestant? Okay, well, growing up in South Carolina, my family, well, my mom's family, they're from Barbados. Okay. And um, for us, being Caribbean heritage, it was mentioned but never discussed. Mm -hmm. And I feel this pageant will give me the chance to show that I am very proud of my Caribbean cool, cool. descent. Yeah, that's nice. Exactly. I think that's a that's a that's a good um, that's a good answer. Oh yeah, that's a very, very good, good answer. <laughs> because it made me feel proud of you well, to know you. that you're a part of me now. Thank you. And uh, you know, I have a friend here that from you say you were some certain place. You was just kicking up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. When do you feel that you're going to win? Well, you know, Elizabeth, this pageant isn't just about beauty. It's also about dedication and commitment. Right. And hopefully the judges will see that I am very committed to serving the community. So that's why I wanted I can to say you're very intelligent. Well, you thank you. Very intelligent, mm -hmm. so thank you. Like what are you doing in the community? What am I doing in the community? From discussing um, say heritage with kids. Mm -hmm. So basically my target is children to teach them to be proud of where they're from. Right. Um, it doesn't matter if you're from the Caribbean, if you're from West Africa or right here in South Central LA, right. just be happy. Mm -hmm. So that's my target. That's good. What Thank advice you. would you give for the kids today? If you put God first, everything will come. Possible. Anything is possible. Anything's possible. possible. Yeah. So that's the advice that I was given and that's the advice that I would give to mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. If, if you should win, yes. what, what what would be your favorite place that you'd like to go? Where would, would be your favorite, I'm sorry, where would be your favorite place my that you'd favorite like to go? I would love to go to Barbados. Barbados. Barbados would oh. be my favorite. Oh, yeah. But the winning ticket is for Jamaica, isn't it? Well, the, right? I'm asking our favorite place yeah. that you'd like to go. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, she's going to Jamaica first. We know that. Right. <laughs> when you win. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Right. What is your education background? Okay. Well, I attend college in Long Beach and also attend Santa Monica College. Mm -hmm. And um, through that, I interned with Inside Edition, uh, which is Whitkin World Productions. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. And I got to work on the O.J. Simpson Silver Trout. Oh, yeah. Okay. And um, I worked with Star Jones. Mm -hmm. and, um, from the View. From yeah, the View. Yeah, right. Yes. And from that, I went on to do a German TV miniseries. Mm -hmm. I did a movie for 20th Century Fox mm -hmm. and some other independent movies and I've cool. just finished up a swimsuit illustrated calendar. Cool. Oh, so, yeah. right. Yes. Was that for Playboy? That was not Playboy, Oh, no, right? that's a Playboy. <laughs> no. Oops. It's a swimsuit got excited calendar. There. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now... Is it was a Playgirl? Playgirl. Play, see, I don't even know the difference. Playgirl, okay, okay. whatever. <laughs> anyway, so um, how are you preparing yourself for the contest? Well, from reading up on current events to exercising, to, gosh, eating right, mm -hmm. to this interview. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's how I'm preparing. Yeah. Well, we are happy to have you. What's well, up, thank you. What are your hobbies? Uh, from kickboxing to dancing. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you worked out. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> but that is great. Thank you guys for having me on. Thank you for thank coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I yeah. wish you all the luck. Thank you. Much success. Thank you. Yes. We'll see you. We'll see you. Thank you. That's right. Yes, I'll be there. Thank you. Yes, I'll be there too. Thank you. You're welcome. At the Biltmore Hotel. Exactly. Yes. The Los Angeles Urban League Automotive Training Center, a unique educational program to help you develop skills for a career in the automotive service industry. Receive hands-on training at no cost. You must be at least 18 years old and have a valid California driver's license. We want to give you the edge to succeed.
call 1-800-382-1358. Welcome back to the show. We're glad to have you with us once more. Like I said before, we have Elizabeth with me, my co-host, and um, welcome back, babe. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And welcome back. We have, as we said before, Dr. Ernesto A. Moshe Montgomery here with us today, former member of the British Intelligence M15 Psychic Division, former member of Jamaican Police Department, currently advisor to world leaders, housewives, dignitaries, anyone who needs his services. And he's also the spiritual leader of the Beta Israel Temple Black Jewish Synagogue of Los Angeles. Dr. Montgomery, welcome to the Junior Soul Show. Hi, welcome thank back. you. It's a pleasure yeah, having you again. Thank you very much. We should say that we have you before, and the response was so great, so yes. we decided to have you back again. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Yes. yes. Now, I just want to touch on one thing. You've made predictions before in the past, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. And one of the main reasons is that we had that American airline plane crash this yesterday. Right. Yesterday. And there was someone on that flight that died that you know. Am I correct? Yes. Unfortunately, um, she was one of my clients, and um, she came to see me mm -hmm. approximately a fortnight ago. That's two weeks. Two weeks ago. In England, it's uh, a fortnight. A fortnight, yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told her that she shouldn't take any trip as a result of her aura. Mm -hmm. Now, an aura mm -hmm. happens to be the energy field that permeates a person's uh, 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 outer body. She indicated to me that, Dr. Montgomery, I have read your book, and I know that you are so accurate, and I will not take any trip. Mm -hmm. She changed her mind. She took the trip, and unfortunately, she died. Oh, mm. can you believe that? Wow. Now, I have here, provided by you, a letter that you had, you had predicted Diana's demise, unfortunately, Princess Diana. But several years prior to that, you had written a letter, you wrote a letter to the Queen, you know, and where you told her about the demise of Diana that you had predicted. And I have a copy here that I'm going to read to you. And this was dated July 6 of 1991. And it was from Dr. Montgomery. And it says, Dear Queen Elizabeth, Princess Diana is in grave danger. I am endowed with the gift of prophecy. I am a former member of the British Intelligence M5 Psychic Division, where my powers of extrasensory perception were instrumental in the Allied victory over Nazi Germany during World War II. And then you went on about you know, your book that we have here. But many of my fulfilled predictions can be acquired from the book Psychic Spy, the British War Department, London, England, or from the combination of the Jamaica Police Department. This communication is hereby forwarded with a view of informing you accordingly that in my dreams and visions, I am observing that Princess Diana is in very grave danger and she will be involved in a fatal autom automobile accident, murder, during the final weeks of August 1997 in France. However, this catastrophe can be averted if preventative measures are adopted. Although I have already done so, Your Royal Highness, please take the necessary steps by alerting the members of your government and other officials of the impending disaster, leading to hopefully the implementation of corrective steps. And then you went on, you know, with your address and everything else, and you had it signed and, you know, to go to the Prime Minister and everyone else in, in London. And the Queen herself, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother of England, replied. Replied. Right? Absolutely and, correct. And this can was you, can you? Because we want the people at home to see the right. The, that's the the emblem there the emblem of England from the, of, from the Queen. Can you zoom in on Can that? Can you zoom in? But hold it up. Hold it up. Okay. But what the letter said, and that was a letter from from there. We go. Clarence House. Okay. Right, and I'll read that to you. And that was from August 5, 1991. Dear Mr. Montgomery, I am writing to acknowledge the receipt of your letter dated the 6th of July, 1991, where your visions and dreams foresee a tragic calamity overcoming Princess Diana of Wales during the final weeks of August 1997, approximately six years hence. Please be advised that we are aware of your remarkable ability, together with your successful effort as a clairvoyant against the, the Germans during World War II. 
Consequently, no chances will be taken. The princess will be alerted and she will not be in France during the time that you have stipulated. And on behalf of Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, thank you for writing and sharing your concern. And it is signed here sincerely with a signature there, Private Secretary to Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. So, six years before she died, she you had predicted. that accident. You predicted you that predicted. that would happen. Absolutely correct. I am the only clairvoyant universally whose reputation is stake on a day, date, and time. There is no uh, speculation at all. And on this particular uh, day, when I sent the letter, I was able to depict the day, date, and time. However, when the Queen responded, that was prior to the confused state between her son and the princess. Okay. If the relationship mm -hmm. was moving ahead, Mm -hmm. rather beautifully, right. they would have done something to prevent her uh, from, how, uh, from going well, after be there. Well, definitely. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. Because then she wouldn't be involved with that person in Paris. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. However, mm -hmm. what caused this area of difficulty to be a factor mm -hmm. was as a result of she being endowed with Mr. Dodi, the mm -hmm. Egyptian. Mm -hmm. right. And unfortunately, when she died, mm -hmm. she was expecting. And the British royal family mm -hmm. did not want any person with dark complexion mm -hmm. to be part of their realm and according to what I happens to see, mm -hmm. she did not die an accidental death. No? My, no. My insight indicated that she was murdered. Mm -hmm. And I went one step further. Mm -hmm. I submitted the original of this letter to the French president, indicating to him that I will go to France myself mm -hmm. and I will work for free to arrest our cause to be arrested, mm -hmm. the conspirators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Certain government officials here mm -hmm. told me to keep my mouth shut and don't say anything else about this particular catastrophe. Wow. Did you ever hear from the French government? Yes. I heard from them via certain American officials mm -hmm. who indicated to me that I should keep my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. They have been doing that, that for years. During the Soviet, Soviet crisis, mm -hmm. during the Cuban crisis, mm -hmm. during the assassination attempt on Mr. Reagan, mm -hmm. all these activities mm -hmm. were known to the officials months and sometimes years yeah, before yes. the manifestation. Mm -hmm. But the concept is that the <laughs> joy of it, not the joy of it, but the, the amusement of my prediction happens to be when the American government was alerted to the fact mm -hmm. that the United States president was shot by Mr. Henker. And I predicted that months before. When I arrived at my office, there were about eight different FBI agents, local police, and other officials waiting for me. At your office? At my office, here really? in Los Angeles. For sure, you? waiting for me. They want to know who am I working with. Mm -hmm. How did I know so much about it mm -hmm. months before? Wow. I'm a col collaborator. Oh, yeah? Oh, definitely. So what I do have in my office is I have a stock of papers, mm -hmm. background information. Mm -hmm. And when this happened, I says, contact the Jamaican government, mm -hmm. contact the chief of the Jamaican police department, mm -hmm. contact MI5 London, England, mm -hmm. contact naval intelligence, mm -hmm. and they will tell you about Ernest Montgomery. Or mm -hmm. just read my book. I haven't, okay. I haven't heard anything from them since. And that book there has got Psychic me out spy. of a lot of confused state. Mm -hmm. Psychic spy. Psychic spy. Now, what I would like to tell the people is that this book is about your background and, you know, all the predictions that you've made, even predictions for the year 2000, the next century. And 
this is complimentary to anyone who would like to have the book? Oh, yes. I'd be very happy to send out complimentary uh, uh, supply, uh, supplies to anyone who need a copy. And to, for them to accept the fact and to see that this book was not printed by Ernest Montgomery. Right, exactly. It was printed by Double Day and Company, one of the leading book manufacturers of the continental United States. Mm -hmm. And the do-it-yourself section mm -hmm. is something for every individual on the face of this cosmic shore yes, to read, to read. To, to meditate. Uh, to, to meditate, meditate. absolutely. Right. I teach how to meditate, mm -hmm. how to project your thought, and how to enjoy the privileges and the amenities mm. free from chaos, confusion, fear, poverty, illness, and the list goes on. Okay. It's right there in that book. That's right. But for real, the FBI was at your door? Yes, sir. The FBI, they were there waiting for me. And this had been going on for a number of years, because when I came to this country, yes. I was a member of the Jamaica Police Department. Yeah. And I was seconded mm -hmm. to the Dallas Police Department. Mm -hmm. And there on a map, I think I, I gave you uh, copies of the picture, on a map, I show Captain B. Slaughter mm -hmm. of the Dallas Police where a president of the U.S. would be slain. Six years later, President John F. Kennedy mm. was shot at the exact spot. Then I went back to Jamaica and I came back. And at the time when he, unfortunately, he was shot, they came looking for me again. Oh, yeah? oh definitely. Wanted to know who am I working with. Oh, you, yeah. Do you know so much about the assassination? Mm -hmm. This is just part of my continuation right. mm -hmm. with, uh, with the officials. That is why I am no longer working with government officials. Mm -hmm. I am now working far and with the people mm -hmm. who need my assistance mm -hmm. day or night. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, I should say this to each and every one of you. To those of you who would like to get in touch with Dr. Montgomery, can call us at our hotline and we'll make sure that we refer you to him. Exactly. No he is right here it. local in yeah. Los Angeles and we can definitely get you his number, you know, get you in touch with Dr. Montgomery. And also good. so you can get a copy of The Psychic Spy and it will tell you all about his background. Now one of the other information that you had in here was that you had seen Dr. Martin Luther King Prior to his death, he saw, you saw him in his office. You predicted that he was in grave danger. And then, I think it was about a week or so prior to his death, you wrote him a letter when you had another vision of him. Uh, yes. In fact, I met Mr. Martin Luther King rather strangely. Uh, I was uh, proceeding from north to south on Western Avenue. Mm -hmm. And he was at the intersection of Western and Adams. He was going to the Golden State Building and he was with a, a gentleman by the name of Mr. Andrew, Andrew Young from right, Atlanta, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, they were, they were together right. and we started to talk and he says, um, I know you. I've heard of you. And uh, from one conversation to the next and he says, all right, I would like to talk with you. And he walked. He didn't drive. He walked from that intersection all the way up to my office and we sat there and we talked. And I told him that I see muddy water reflecting all around you. Mm -hmm. You have to be extremely careful because they are about to assassinate you. And he said, no, the good Lord will take care of me. I am here to assist and to work with humanity, and all is going to be well. However, he said, I will take on advisement your prediction. Mm -hmm. A few weeks later, he was dead. Wow. Wow. That is sad. Now, you're going to be having your own TV show. Uh, yes, uh, hopefully uh, on this uh, very, very, very station, mm. I will be instituting my own uh, television show mm -hmm. whereby individuals who would like to know more about Judaism, mm -hmm. who would like to know about what Rosh Hashanah is all about, uh, what Yom Kippur is all about, mm -hmm. what uh, Sukkot is all about, what Shabbat is all about, mm -hmm. they can come and we can sit at my study group and there is no charge. And I should say this to each other, one of you, that Dr. Montgomery is the first black spiritual, spiritual Jewish, leader Jewish leader here in Los Angeles. I have a synagogue right here. Yes. You can give the address. Where is it? What's well, of course, we're at 1101 Crenshaw Boulevard. Yes. And my telephone number, if I may, or yeah, go ahead. Uh, right, my telephone number is 323 930 
2027. Okay. That's, the synagogue. That's, a synagogue. Synagogue. That's a black synagogue. That's a black synagogue in Los Angeles, okay. where I teach classes, where I impart information, mm -hmm. and all of what you would know right. in order to be productive. Yes, Dr. Yes. Montgomery, we're running out of time. Thank you very much Thank for coming again. Thank you again, Ms. Elizabeth. Again. Thank you Thank very, very you. much. Thank you for coming again. Thank you, Juno So. And of course, we're going to have you back later on sometime. Thank you. Thank you very much. You have some very good stuff to tell us. Thank you very and much. tell our audience out there. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Alrighty? Thank you. Cool. Bye-bye. Thanks. Caribbean California Beauty Pageant. Of course, by Best, best Fish Market in Los Angeles, California. Cellini Fine European Fine Fashion. You can always come back home And I'll never turn my back on you Smart Enterprise of Los Angeles Thank you. And power cleaners out there in Lake Forest, we want to thank you so much. And thanks again to Tammy Jones for makeup. Do not drink. Because the life that you save may be your own. own. <laughs>